Good morning, Double Day Bucks. Today is October 17th, 2023. I'm JT Gordon. And I'm Eliza Granacha, bringing, bringing you your, your weekly, weekly news. news. Can you guys feel it? The spirit of Halloween is among us. Yeah, it's crazy to think that not too long ago we completed our first month of school, and now it's October. So here's a really quick recap on what happened the first month of school. We had homecoming two weeks ago. We had our first couple football games as well as volleyball games, and the semester's coming close to end. And that will wrap up the first month of school. We had also PSATs last week. Hope everyone tried their hardest and the seniors had a nice day off because I know I sure did. And not to mention Mr. Lewis and some other teachers shadowed the students to get a better understanding. We had an interview with Mr. Lewis and asked him some questions on why he did it. Now let's focus on this week. We have some good news bucks. We have late start tomorrow. So we'll see everybody at 850. We also have after school tutoring Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 to 4.15 after school. And now that it's October, our school is putting together an epic Halloween event for you guys called Haunted Hallways. It starts at 3.15 and ends at 6. There will be candy and other fun games. The girls bowling coach is setting up bowling. There will also be a haunted theater that the Thespians Club is putting together. So make sure you guys stop by to support your fellow Bucks and now on to KJ and Cielo for the sports. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and join us. Hey, hey Bucks. Bucks. Welcome back to your BNN Sports segment. Today we have a special announcement to make. Along with lots of other wintertime sports, Girls Bowling is returning and needs you to join, girls. If you are competitive and you love bowling, we strongly suggest that you head to Mr. Humphrey's room in room 46 to sign up for it. But that's not all the winter sports that will be upcoming in the next months. Other sports also will be starting up soon. The first day of girls' basketball tryouts is October 3rd, 30th inside the main gym. Now looking at our senior night football game against Auburn. JV won their game 20-0, although our varsity lost theirs 8-19, but still gave us a great show for our seniors attending the game and our final home student section. Before varsity kickoff, we celebrated and honored our seniors, our fellow students, and athletes as this was our final home game of the year. Yet again, we want to thank all attendees for showing up to the game. Thank you, KJ and Cielo for sports. Now on to the interview with Mr. Lewis. Good morning, BNN. I'm here with... Mr. Lewis, good morning, BNN. <laughs> and we're talking about shadowing students today. So, Mr. Lewis, I have a few questions for you. Are you okay with that? Yes. All right. So, where did the idea of shadowing students, like, come upon? It is part of a study that we're doing, looking at the high school daily schedule. So, we want to know how the daily schedule, where we have seven classes a day, 48 minutes a d uh, per class period, we've got win once a week. Like, does that really help students learn? Is it make it a positive learning experience here at high school? Or are there opportunities to improve? So we thought that in order to really do a good job of this, we need to know what it's like to be a student throughout an entire day. So that's why we came up with the idea of shadowing students. And how does a teacher get picked to shadow a student? That's a great question. So we have we have a committee that of staff uh, has some members here from BHS, from Belvedere North High School. We have some central office representatives. So it's members of those uh, the committee that were invited to shadow students. So are we collabing basically with V North and as well as to do as a study? We are. We are. So they did the same thing the same day that we were shadowing students. They were shadowing students as well. And did you learn anything from shadowing students? Did it take you back to high school or? It did. My, my high school experience was the same as, as what it is here at BHS. We did the, the seven period day and uh, same thing every day. We did not have anything like a win period, so that was different. But for the most part, it was the same. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that any students like chat like was there any struggles throughout the day like getting to classes i know the hallways can be really really busy so yeah we did go from the foods wing 
all the way up to U.S. history by yeah. the library, and we didn't have time for a break there. But for the most part, we had a little bit of time during passing periods. So, if you would, so did you learn anything to change for next year to improve the schedule? There were a couple of things that stood out. One, um, one is it goes really fast. So you get into class, you start getting into something, and then it seems like the the day is over you know and mr stewart he can he can verify this we were really close to coming back in kickball in seventh hour but then we ran out of time otherwise we would have come back and won that day uh, so that's definitely something is the pace and um our teachers do a great job of planning lessons and there's some you know some meaningful things going on hands-on things but also what i noticed is um, and this is just the nature of the schedule is the things aren't really connected. Like what we're talking about in first hour, I have to like switch my brain to think about something completely different in second hour. And then I've got to switch it again to think about what I'm doing in third hour. So I was cutting potatoes in first hour. I took a test on uh, the Revolutionary War, I think, second hour. And then third hour is learning about pre-calculus. So it was a lot of brain switching throughout the day, and that can take a lot of energy. So, so do, you, do you think it taught you to multitask better? Definitely feel like there's a lot of multitasking going on in high school. I, I under, yes, I agree with you that, uh, that it does require you guys to, uh, to manage a lot of things in your heads at once. So I only had to do it for one day, and that was one thing that Jason and I talked about is um, this is what you guys are, are doing every day and, and uh, have been asked to adapt to. And that's why the shadowing was so important is we have to step back and ask ourselves, is, um, you know, is everything about this setting students up to be successful after high school? And I'm sure we're going to find that there are some parts of it that we want to keep. And there might be some parts of it that we say, you know what, if we modify this, um, it's going to make it better for students. So is this a one-time thing or do we... Or are you thinking that we'll recap over this again in the spring? You mean the shadow days? Yeah. Right now we don't have any additional shadow days planned. We may do it in the future, but in terms of like this committee, I think that's all we're doing right now. Um, but we're going to be taking what we learned from the shadow days. We're going to take what we learned from the survey that you all took this week and see what kind of recommendations we might have uh, moving forward. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you for your time, Mr. Lewis. Thanks for your question, Z. Next, we held our Teacher versus Admin Halloween trivia game. Between Adam and teachers, there was a lot of funny banter. Now let's see who wins. I'm Addison Walker, and I'm going to be hosting our Halloween trivia, Admin versus Teachers. I will start going around and just say your name and occupation. Uh, my name is Mr. Kellstrom, and I teach math and government. My name is Mrs. Johnson, and I teach Spanish only. My name is Mrs. My name is Mrs. Jevramovic, and I teach drafting, activities in technology, and algebra. <laughs> My name's uh, Ms. Velasquez, and I'm the admin assistant. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Versinski, and I'm one of the assistant principals. Hi, I'm Mr. Hansen, and I'm the dean of students. And Star Wars is cool! Everybody is amazing here, <laughs> except Mr. Kallstrom. Um, so we're going to get started. <laughs> okay, so our first question is, is a pumpkin considered a fruit or a vegetable? I think we had Mr. Kallstrom. Uh, it's a fruit. A fruit? All right, let's see. It is a fruit. Right. That is one point. That is one point to our teachers. Next question. What is the most popular Halloween candy? 
We have Mr. Hansen. M&M's. Is it M&M's? No, the answer was Reese's. That was my guess, Hansen. <laughs> All right, our next question. What is this nostalgic Halloween movie? If I need to move it around. You have to move it around too <laughs> Oh, no, admin busted there. Admin, busted. admin got it. So, All right. right Marissa. That's Halloween Town. <laughs> the answer is Halloween Town. Yay. 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 So that is one point for our teachers and one point for our admin. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Yeah, is Nightmare Before Christmas considered a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? To our teachers. I'm going to go with Christmas movie. The answer was a Halloween movie. Should we do? No, we didn't get a point for no. Reese, then, but we have to get Reese's. So oh, it's, it's one yeah. to one. Yeah. One yeah. to one. one. All right. Just trying to get Only us positive points. points. How big is the largest record, recorded pumpkin? Is it one, 278 pounds? Two five thousand seven hundred forty nine pounds, three seven thousand nine hundred forty seven pounds, or four two thousand seven hundred forty nine pounds. One. Okay. The answer was number four. Oh, two thousand seven hundred twenty nine. Two thousand pound pumpkin. Yes. That is crazy. That is huge. Let's take away Mr. Wait, Hansen's third. buzzer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> They're turning at each other. Right. Right. Before They're turning his at each other. team has chosen Stay united, the right answer. Stay united. What is the most popular Halloween costume of 2023? Mm. That was Miss Rosinski. Mario. Is it Mario? Yeah, that does sound about right. It is Ken and Barbie. Oh. oh, Ken and Barbie. From here, it looks like Mario. It does. <laughs> 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 see, I, I didn't see it. Like, I thought the other buzzing in before I even get to see the thing. Okay. Well, this is the answer. Excuses. Excuses. Like, yeah, oh. excuses. All right. It's <laughs> like, this was like, buzzing. I'm like, She's got the this. question. All right. And then, last question. What is the most popular Halloween costume of all time? Marissa. <laughs> I'm going to say a ghost. A ghost. Say, ghost. For our last question, because it's our last question, I want to give everybody a chance to guess, and then I'll say if you're right. Because okay. I feel like we can even on the playing field here. Because I think it's one to one, one, to one. one still. Okay, so what do you think it is, Mr. Hanson? I was thinking a witch. A witch. Mr. Mm -hmm. Zinski? Skeleton. Ghost? I was witch. Witch? Yeah, witch is what I would say. I'm going to go pumpkin to be different. Okay, so we have witch... Skeleton, yep. ghost, witch, witch, pumpkin. The answer is witch. witch. So we no have way. a tie two to two. So we need a tiebreaker. I think there were two of us and only <gasps> one of them. No. We'll, we'll do a tiebreaker. Wow. Hey, we'll do a tiebreaker. So this question is actually not Halloween related. It's also probably going to be the easiest or hardest question. This one's actually about me. How tall am I? Calstrom. I'm going to say you're 5'2". No. That is wrong. No. Anybody else? 5'1". No. Okay, I will take that for now. Does anybody else have another guess? Come on, Four foot eleven. Marissa. Five foot even. It goes to Miss Rosinski. Yes. I am five one and a half. The yes. half does count. Yeah, with shoes. No, without shoes. Holy cow. I'm, guys, I'm actually yeah. tall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have our admin that wins. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys had an amazing time. Congratulations to the admin. Great job. Bucks. Like, subscribe, and join us for next time. Go Bucks!